everybody, it is your girl Cecilia the Dream, and I'm back today with another video. As y'all can see from top down below in the bonnet being on, y'all know we're back with another wig video. I know I told y'all I was going to be done with wigs for a hot second after the last two that I did. But since I already have my hair braided down, I was just feeling like, oh, I should try another wig. So I bought a wig and it's an Amazon wig. So this is the first time for me getting a wig directly from Amazon. So I don't really know what to expect. So let's just go ahead, and open this up and let's see what's going on. As soon as you take it out of the Amazon bag, it just comes in this black bag here. And it says, Anivia, Anivia, <laughs> I'm tripping. It says Anivia Queen's Choice. There's the logo, y'all see it, get into it, get into it. I really like this black bag. Um, never really seen anything like this before. So let's open it up. It doesn't really say anything on the back, it's just like a barcode back there. Um, oh, y'all, I dang near forgot I got a wig with color in it. I thought I got black, but I forgot. I think I didn't get the color though. I wanted it to be risky. <laughs> But this is what she looks like. So y'all see it's a curly wig. This is like my second time or third time doing like a real textured wig. Um, let's talk about the stuff that it included in the bag first. We got our wig cap, which most people tend to give. I've seen with the other wigs that I've gotten. There's a wig cap, but of course, you know, it's not the complexion for our dark, more dark skinned melanated women. So, yeah, they also gave us some hoops, some go hoops. I'm into that, I'm into that because if you know me, you know I love me some hoops, especially the big ones. That's all I typically wear. I don't really wear studs and stuff like that. If you see me with earrings, it's usually some hoops. So I'm into that. And then they gave what looks like some stickers. Um. I think these are supposed to be for like your, like a window or something, because I think this is backwards. If it's even in English, I think it's backwards, but I don't think this is something I would put on anyway, so it don't really matter. Or maybe it's a tattoo. I don't know, y'all. Y'all look at the back. It says, hold up, all oh, this lighting. It looked like something that you gotta put water on or something. I don't know, I don't know. But, so there's that and then, let's get into the wig. They put this little netted cap around, which I really do appreciate because I they were trying to help keep the curls intact. However, <laughs> y'all, there's a hole. There's a hole, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a hole in the net. I don't think I ripped that out. So, I mean, they tried, A for effort, I guess. Um, so you take that off, then they put a little piece of paper, or whatever in it to keep the form together. And then there's this little tag on the side that says, you can also be a stylist, it's really fun to do styling by yourself. You will find yourself more professional than the hair salon designer. Anivia Queen's Choice. I think that's a cute little piece of branding because it also has their logo on it so it separates them from other like just generic wig sellers on the platform so before i get into showing y'all this wig i'm gonna read the description on amazon i'll also have a link down in the description box down below if y'all choose to purchase from that i will be receiving commission from that and that does help support our channel just letting y'all know before y'all choose to purchase from it. On Amazon, it is the Annie Soul Afro Bomb Curly Wigs for Black Women Short Afro Kinky Curly Wig with Bangs. It's 14 inches, natural looking ombre, brown synthetic heat resistant full curly wig. Y'all know these listings on Amazon be longer than it really needs to be, but that's how long it is. It is, the list price is usually 
$28.99, but it is currently 15% off and it's $24.69 at the moment. And I got mine in the dark ombre brown 4 slash 30 color. It is synthetic and it's a full wig, like I said, so there's no lace on this wig. Y'all, let me just tell y'all, after the last two human hair wigs that I had installed with the full lace, like I can maintain it, yes, but if you know me, you know, I take my skincare very seriously. And I feel like with me always having to tie my hair down, also because I sweat, so always tie my hair down, I'm not able to wash those part of my faces. And now that I have those wigs off, I'm like having these bumps, not from the glue, because it's not where my hairline is, but just the spots where my edge scarf always was all the time that I wasn't able to reach with my face wash. I just need a break from <laughs> the full wigs to keep it quite frank. So we have a synthetic full wig right now. Um, this is what she looks like. Here's the color. I think it's a very pretty color. Um, it's the ombre, so it has some dark roots. And then it has like this cute little brown-ish color, sort of like caramel color, which I think is very cute and fitting for the fall. Um, I will say she does have a little bit frizzing going on already, which is kind of weird seeing as though I just got this. So I wonder if it was a return. Um, which would also explain the net being broken, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so now let me show y'all what the inside of this cap is looking like. It does like it will be breathable. It has some of that um, open wefting. So here's what she looks like. Once again, no lace in the front. And then we have some open wefting right here, which I love because since it is a huge curly unit, you want that airflow to get in or you're gonna be super hot. Then it also has um, two adjustable combs on the side. Here's one, here's two. And then, let me see, can y'all see that? Yeah, right. there's one, there's two over there. And then, those are the only two combs in this entire unit, but they do also have these adjustable straps in the back, which y'all know I tend not to use, but they got those two adjustable straps in the back. Now we're just going to hit plop her on. We don't got to do too much because it is, there's no lace, which I love. Let's just go ahead and use the wig cap that they provided to us in the bag. And also, y'all, while I'm putting this on, I will say I did notice that there is no, like, fake scalp at the top. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if that's a deal breaker for people or not, but there is no fake scalp at the top. So, I have my wig cap on. Since this is a full lace, not full lace, but since it's a full wig with no lace, you don't have to put a wig cap on. But me, personally, I do choose to put a wig cap on whether a wig is getting glued down or not because I don't want any chance of, like, any friction in between the netting, the wefts, the combs, pulling out my hair, I just, I would rather not. So that's why I usually put on a wig cap just to protect my hair regardless. Put her on. And I see she got some bangs. I wasn't expecting that. So this is how it looks, straight coming out the pack. It's giving um, school principal. It's just not giving <laughs> what we wanted it to give. But it is like there's room for improvement. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and try to tease it out. I do like these bangs. I mean, I never really had bangs in any of my other wigs or in real life. Um, She's not sitting where she's supposed to sit. Like you see, there's this whole like, thing of hair right here that I feel like should not be sitting right there at all. But we're gonna put some work into it. I'm gonna start stretching some parts out and loosening up this curl pattern a little bit. I will say y'all, before y'all start doing this, remember this is synthetic, so it does not go back. So you have to be very careful with how you do this. So I'm gonna try to be very careful, but let's try to turn this into something better.
The main thing that I'm doing is just trying to make this top part flatter. Okay, y'all, so I think I'm done stretching and manipulating it. I think it looks good. This side kind of looks a little, I can't get both the sides to look the same right now. I feel like this side is a little higher than this side, but I think she looks way better now. She's giving, she's giving second day wash and go, second day twist out, very fluffed. She's giving fall for sure. And she's a nice length. Like, let me show y'all. Here's the bag. So like she comes, she comes right, right above my shoulders, which is very nice because it's like, it's off your shoulders. It won't be too hot. If you do decide to wear this in the summer, I will say I am a little hot right now, <laughs> but it could be because I have all the lights on and everything. But I think she's very cute. She's looking really nice in the camera. I'm not sure if she's showing up oily or like shiny but in person it's not shiny in my camera it kind of looks shiny this camera i'm not sure if it looks shiny in that one or not but it's not shiny in person at all so it does look very natural like i said the only like i said the only main issue that there would be as far as naturalness or realness of it is that there is no scalp sort of look here but i mean Girl, if you got the curls out, you got the curls out. And who said it's not my hair? What? <laughs> now, I will say, um, I'm not sure how she will be like, yeah, see, she done came off. So, I will say, for that, maybe wear a wig grip or something because she's not secure. Even though she was laying pretty snug on my head, she's not the most secure but there are two combs, so you can always opt in to using those. All I did was, my main thing was just flattening out this top part because if you don't mean you've seen any other wig videos, I really don't like in-between hair. I don't like hair that's like, it don't know whether it wanna be full and voluminous or laying down. So that's why I just pulled it down a little bit because it was giving me very in-between and I didn't like it. It was giving me more poodle than what I feel like it should look like. And then I cut off some of the bangs in the front just to make it a little bit more framing around my eyes and my forehead and for it to not be in my face like this one right here. I think I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Tips on styling this, I'll say work slow. Like I said, you don't wanna manipulate too much because it is a synthetic unit. And when you're cutting, make sure that you go slow because once you cut, <laughs> there is no cutting back. But I do like this. It's gonna be a very nice pop on wig for me, which I do love because y'all do know I just recently graduated. Super excited about that. Out there on the job market, looking for stuff and getting into starting jobs and trying to get in a new routine, changing what I did from school to now being at home and working in a environment that isn't always like, you do this, then you do this, then you do that. You wake up at the same time every day. This is nice because I could just plop it on real quick, run out and do whatever I gotta do for the day, which I really do appreciate. Um, I probably will use the adjustable straps in the back because <laughs> y'all just saw it came off. So just to make it a little bit tighter, you could also, since there are open lifts, you could do like bobby pins into your hair so that it doesn't come out. Do you know there's also the combs in it as well? And also, like I said, using a wig grip, all that combined, I'm pretty sure this will be very secure throughout the day. Um, wind may be an issue, but I don't suspect wind to be like coming and getting all of it in the face. Final review on this wig, I would say I really do love it. The color is beautiful. It's very natural. Um, it's very easy to shape into the shape that you want. I think this will be cool. I don't think I will have many issues with tangling. I mean, you sh it's a curly unit and it's synthetic, so I don't suspect that I'm gonna be running my fingers through it or using any combs or anything. 
So we'll really just see how long this lasts because y'all know what I me, mean. when I get a synthetic wig, y'all could say it's not for everyday use, but I'ma wear it every day because what else am I gonna wear if my hair is braided down? Make it make sense. <laughs> so I'll keep y'all updated with how this goes, but I do think this is very quick fix. It's only 20 something dollars. You get it with Amazon Prime. I think I got it like next day shipping. So I would suggest getting it. I would get it. They also do have this in black. So if you want to do black, that'd be cute as well. It's 14 inches, so you can always cut it down to be shorter if you want like a cute little diva cut sort of thing, which I think that could be cute to try out as well if the ends start to get like matted and tangled and frizzy. Probably cutting it shorter to just see how that looks. I think that'd be really cute. Um, I will say it's big head friendly because y'all know I do consider myself to be part of the big head community and it is fitting on my head really good um without it being too big or without it being too snug either so i went over to amazon y'all i might be going to amazon more to get some other wigs just to try them out right now i'm trying to get out of the full frontal lace wigs i've done that that's how i started off with my wigs but i want to try other things because the full frontal it just it'd be too much to maintenance for me so if y'all have any suggestions leave them down in the comment section down below on any wigs that y'all want me to try whether y'all try them or not i'm open to trying them out for y'all and make sure you follow me on instagram i'm sandy g just to see more of me and see more of this wig because of course you know i post on there way more often and follow me on tiktok y'all i've been posting on tiktok a lot recently so follow me on there at i'm sandy g as well because i post every day on tiktok don't miss a day so you'll always be able to see me if you don't see me on here you'll definitely see me on tiktok and make sure you follow and hit the notification bell so you know the next video comes out because there'll be more videos like this and see more of me and because i love you all so so much and my name is sincerely Drew, and i'll see you on the next video bye